We start our report in Massachusetts, where prosecutors presented gory evidence against the husband of Anna Walsh Wednesday as they formally charged him with her murder. Walsh has been missing since New Year's Day. Prosecutors say 47-year-old Brian Walsh killed her, then dismembered and discarded her body. Police have not found her remains, but they've found other signs of what they say happened. Nancy Chen is in Boston with the latest. Brian Walsh stood in court today, expressionless and mostly silent, as prosecutors alleged in gruesome detail how they believe he killed his wife, Anna, after searching divorces online in the days before she disappeared. Rather than divorce, it is believed that Brian Walsh dismembered Anna Walsh and discarded her body. Walsh told investigators Anna Walsh, a 39-year-old mother of three, took a car to the airport around 6 a.m. New Year's Day. But prosecutors say there's no record of that ride. Instead, they say blood and knives were found in the couple's basement. And that just hours after Anna Walsh was last seen, Brian Walsh made a series of chilling Google searches on his son's iPad, including 10 ways to dispose of a dead body if you ever needed to. How long for someone to be missing to inherit? Can you throw away body parts? And can you be charged with murder without a body? Prosecutors also say Walsh bought $450 worth of supplies and cash, including a hacksaw, towels, and cleaning materials. And that surveillance cameras show him lugging heavy bags to at least four dumpsters. Investigators say some of those bags have already been incinerated. They have not found a body. Prosecutors say they did find bags containing towels, a hacksaw, Anna Walsh's COVID-19 vaccine card, and the purse and boots she was last seen wearing, as well as DNA from both Anna and Brian Walsh. Pamela Barty, a friend of Anna Walsh, called the evidence hard to hear. I knew from day one that something horrible had happened and I didn't want to believe it. The truth starting to unravel, and that's painful. Brian Walsh, who is being held without bail, has pleaded not guilty with his next court appearance scheduled for early February. In a statement to CBS News, his attorney says the evidence against him is not strong and that they intend to win in court. John. Nancy, Brian Walsh was already in trouble uh, with the law before Anna Walsh's disappearance. What more can you tell us about that? John, that's right. Uh, Walsh was on home confinement because of a federal conviction for fraud. Prosecutors say that he both sold and stole real and fake Andy Warhol paintings and that he had violated the terms of that home confinement for being out after curfew. Nancy Chen in Boston. Thank you, Nancy.